Folks who drive over the Gold Star Memorial Bridge are about to get some relief. Work on the bridge is nearing its finish now, but some changes are coming. News 8's Tina Detell shows us. Construction work on the Gold Star Memorial Bridge is edging towards the finish line, but before it's complete, drivers will notice some changes. Already part of the right lane on the limited southbound side of the bridge is closed, and some of the Jersey barriers cordoning off the construction zone have been removed. They signal the beginning of the end to this $26 million project. What kind of changes can drivers see? DOT project engineer Keith Shoppy tells News 8 the cement barriers and old striping will be removed and epoxy pavement markings will be put down. We wanted to get the permanent ones down because they, they show up a heck of a lot better than the temporary ones. And we wanted to get the, the new lane alignment established. To do so, there will be lane closures over the next three weeks. It actually stressed me out a bit because I have to come to New London three times a week. After the right side of the bridge is completed, traffic will be moved there and the left side will be closed to complete the project. So I don't know how they're doing the lanes this time, but I hope they work it out. Light up message boards, traffic drums, and construction signs will guide drivers through this final phase. Like I saw a couple of days ago, and I say, yes, that's pretty good for us. Cornell Patel owns Gus's Pizza in Groton and New London. Any way you slice it, he says bridge construction has been bad for business. It's in fact a couple of hundred dollars a day, actually, daily business, you know. The pedestrian pathway reopens this weekend, ending the shuttle bus service on Friday. Just bear with us. Please be patient. And pretty soon you'll be driving on the brand new pavement, nice bright line stripes. This project began in April of 2017 and is expected to be completed on time by November 30th. Now after that, we're told that there could still be some punch list work to be done, but that would have a much smaller impact on traffic. Going over the Gold Star Memorial Bridge, Tina Detell, News 8.